I wasn't invited to New York City for the draft weekend. I, I spent it at my house with my family and friends. And, uh, so now I can officially say I was invited to New York City for the draft. Uh, eight years late, but it's okay. <laughs> Well, that's, that's probably always been the case. You know, uh, my mom and I have, uh, have probably a different relationship than you know, some other guys in their mom. You know, my mom's young, not even 50 yet. Uh, uh, you know, growing up, she used to race us. And she played in a women's soccer league. And, you know, my mom taught me how to throw a spiral, you know, those kinds of things. And so uh, it's exciting. You know, she's, uh, she's obviously meant a great deal uh, to not only my life, but also my two younger brothers' lives. And, and uh, I'm excited for her that she gets to do this too. And uh, it should be a lot of fun. Who approached her with the idea? Did you have to originally bring it up to her? Uh, I think that uh, Campbell's had approached uh, my marketing agent, John Drana, and uh, said, hey, what do you think? Do you think this could be a good fit? And, and we were very excited. You know, like I said, you know, I came into the NFL when Reggie White was a teammate of mine. And he was the uh, you know, he was the Campbell's chunk of the suit guy. <laughs> and uh, I can remember, you know, wanting a lot of things that year, the sixth round pick. Number one, wanting to make the team. You know, but also wanting to be like certain guys on my team. Reggie was definitely one of those guys, and, and uh, it's really exciting and really fun. When you think of all the endorsement opportunities that you have as an NFL football player, I think this is the one that probably uh, excites you the most because you get obviously to partake in it and be a part of the team, but uh, but but your mom does too. And obviously, all of us. My mother means so much to us. Uh, you see every guy on the sidelines, you know, when the camera turns around and says, hi, Mom, you know, and there, there's a reason for that. You know, your mom's the one that was, you know, driving you to football practice or baseball practice or soccer practice or whatever and making you dinner on the fly. You know, just, uh, um, just great. I'm excited for her and I'm excited to be part of the Did you, did you call Donovan McNabb? This group of quarterbacks, uh, reminiscent of the three guys that coming out uh, two years ago albeit nobody's going to go number one with a leg thing. Um, can you just talk about this group and the talents of these guys? And sometimes it's all about where you land. And, yeah. you, know, you look at Ben and, and how he landed last. I was ticked off about it, but it worked out pretty good for him. Well, I'm, I'm extremely biased. Uh, I just like all first-round draft picks. <laughs> <laughs> um, pretty much anyone drafts on the first day. Uh, I have a chip on my shoulder against you. So I'm sure <laughs> Matt, Vance, you know, I'm sure all those guys are pretty guys, but... Uh, they're day one guys, you know. I, I'm, I'm, I probably won't even tune in to the day one. Uh, day, day two is where, where it happens for me. So uh, my, my dark horse, uh, after watching very, very little film, I'm going uh, to pick the kid from Furman. I'm not sure if you know how to say it, but uh, he's the guy, after watching the Combine tape from the NFL Network, he's the guy that I think is going to be And it's really nothing against these guys that are going to go in the first round. It just I can't root for them being a six-round pick. It just... Yeah. The scars are still there. <laughs> hey, Matt, did you call Donovan McNabb for any pointers on Chucky Soup? No, but I will. I, I certainly will. Um, this is, uh, like I said, with uh, you know, with respect to you know being a first-round pick like Donovan McNabb, uh, you know, being like the Chucky Soup spokesperson yeah. guy. That's that's something that happens to first-rounders. You yeah, know? Sure. So yeah. For me, a six-rounder, it's uh, it's kind of a dream come true. You you know, when you're working out in the off-season, there's certain things that motivate you. Yeah. And, uh, you know, some guys they want to be the best at their position for a long time. For me, I want I wanted to make the team, you know, and then I wanted to be the number two guy instead of the number three guy. I wanted to be the guy that if Brett Favre went down, the coaches had enough confidence to, you know, call the entire playbook. And then uh, obviously it's progressed from there. You want to start in the Pro Bowl, those kinds of things. And um, I think that this is just another one of those things that, you know, Donovan was going to Pro Bowls well before I was playing in championship games well before, you know, doing a bunch of chunky soup commercials. And, um, hopefully we, this is, uh, you know, we get to do this for a long time like he has. Yeah, absolutely. Can I ask you about, you know, the flux that's gone on, you know, since the Super Bowl with your team and, you know, how long has it taken you to get over it and, and the ideas that uh, lose a bunch? I mean, you do have uh, Floyd there and, and, and Cape Guys, uh, and, and catch on. Well, I, uh, 
to start with Hutch, uh, that was a huge loss for our team, but at the same time, I think uh, everyone would agree that the strength of our team is our offensive line, so you got to lose somebody in the position, and that's the position, and that's not to take away from Hutch and what he meant to our team, but um, our team's strong in the game, but we've got a lot of depth in our offensive line, and we've drafted with that position year after year. We signed Tom Ashworth of, of the Visa commercial fame uh, from the Patriots, and uh, so I think we're okay there, and then we took all that money that we were trying to give Hutch, and we put it into Julian Peterson, who's uh, you know, one of the best defensive uh, players in the game, so... Uh, I think it's kind of exciting. You know, it hurts to lose a good friend like Hutch, but uh, we got Sean back. Upgraded our defense, great. Uh, and a guy like that, stealing him from the competitor. And, uh, you know, last year was a great run for us. You know, it was a great run. And, uh, we did get it done in the final game. And so we just got to take it as a learning experience and move on and do the best we can. And, uh, I, I like where our team sits up. There's some teams right now in the NFC that look good. Yeah, I like to be I I don't know. I know you yeah. were talking about it on the bus over at the Pro Bowl. Yeah, I, I, you know, I think uh, it's still stung quite a bit, you know, at the Pro Bowl. Um, you know, you're playing through plays in your head. Uh, I lost the state championship game in high school. I played Brockton High School, and we lost 18 to 17. And, uh, yeah, the game still bothers me. It still bugs me. We should have won the game. We really should have. We were up 17 nothing in the fourth quarter. We lose 18 to 17. Um, but you got to move on. I can't know. Uh, will, that, will that Super Bowl always be with me? Well, you would be, but uh, we're ready to move on. Yeah. This, this is a new year, a new team. We've not won any games. We've not lost any games. And, uh, so we're excited. Uh, the nice thing now in the offseason, I get to do fun stuff like this. And I don't get tackled. I get to talk a little trash <laughs> about this man earlier today. And he can't hit me back. Um, <laughs> hey, we got, um, actually, I just want to make a brief um, presentation. So this is uh, Ted Rydell from uh, Campbell's Chunky Soup. Hi there. Well, on behalf of Campbell's Chunky, we. I thought you had a mic. So, on behalf of Campbell's Chunky, it is our privilege to make our announcement today for our three spokesmen for our upcoming season. And uh, we've been partners with the NFL since 1997. It's been a very successful campaign for us. Our first spokesman uh, returns to us after doing uh, an ad with us two years ago in his rookie season. The quarterback of the world champion Pittsburgh Steelers, Ben Roethlisberger, with his mom, Brenda. Secondly, returning for an unprecedented six years will be Donovan McNabb and, uh, and his inimitable mother, Wilma McNabb. And finally, we are very excited to have here with us today, uh, who led his team to a 13-3 record last year, reigning champions of the NFC, Matt Hasselbeck and his mother, Betsy. Thank you. And on behalf of the team, we'd like to welcome you to uh, the Chunky Team, customized Campbell Chunky jersey, Very nice. Matt Betsy. We look forward to having you this year. Thank you. Um, this is even better than being drafted in the first round. <laughs> you can be Paul Tagliabue. There you go. One size version. <laughs> Thank you. So we're welcome. We're, we're excited about the year coming up. Matt's going to be a great addition to our team. He embodies everything that uh, the brand does as well. We look forward to it. Thank you. Uh, I've answered uh, some questions already. I just would like to say uh, that I'm very excited to be a part of the Cam Campbell's Chunky Soup team. Uh, I've mentioned about players that I've looked up to in my career, the Reggie Whites, the John Lynches, the Donovan McNabs, and uh, to be a part of that team also means a great deal. And, and I'm also very excited that my mom, Betsy, uh, gets to be a part of that. It feels weird calling you Betsy. <laughs> 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 she gets to be a part of this because uh, there's, there's no doubt that I wouldn't be in the NFL right now uh, if it wasn't for her. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Ryan. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Well, the number's on the front. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Very good. Yeah. And look right here for one, please. Hey Matt. Questions? Yeah, just one. Yeah. You're talking about. I know it's hard to look at game film from the Super Bowl, but as a person who looked at it, I have to tell you guys had one of the most innovative game plans against the kind of three-three-five they were running. 
have you guys just saved it? I mean, you were you had play action out of four wide receivers, a lot there that. And I was telling Aaron Mill from the Chronicle, he was complaining about clock. I said, you were paying attention to the game, man. They had a heck of a game plan. Well, I think the clock became an issue uh, uh, before the half, but uh, we had play called. It just it just wasn't going to work, and uh, the crowd noise in that game was, uh, was, yeah. was unbelievable. Yeah. You know, we hadn't really prepared for crowd noise because it was thought to be a neutral game. Uh, but the crowd noise uh, wasn't that way. The Pittsburgh Steelers travel well. Um, Historically, and uh, it, was, it was quite impressive how loud that game was for them. Um, that contributed to us a little bit. But our, co- our plan was great. Our coaches did a great job. It was job. innovative. I, 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 I give you, know, you guys a lot. Yeah, it was something else. I, I, I diagrammed it and gave it to Ira. I said, "Look at this, yeah. and you know, look at it. Great job." How do you feel about your sons being a chunky? Yeah. Congratulations. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you're, you're a media darling now. Oh, you're used to it. <laughs> it you're, it's like that. Way. I couldn't figure out what that was. Okay. It's, it's exciting when he, Kathy called me and he said, um, Mom, they wanted to check the commercial with you. He didn't ask me. He just kind of told me I was doing it. And I had to chuckle because my sister used to tease me when he was probably on the practice squad. You know, someday you're going to do a chunky suit commercial. I don't know about that, but when you ever call it, it was, it was, it was pretty exciting. Nice. We're excited to be on board. Are you going to draw a place for him now? Actually, or did you already do that? I did already do that in his oh. bedroom when he grew up. His walls were painted green, and we had white chalk, draw, a play drawn on his bedroom oh. wall. Did it, so, and it worked. It worked. And it, it was worked. one yeah. that actually worked in my house. <laughs> that's why we used it. So. Oh. Is he a mama's boy? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> and I don't think he'd want me to say he is. I don't know. It's okay to be a mama's boy. It's okay to be a mama's boy. He's a good kid. He's a good kid.